Hi everyone, my name is Mandar Kogle. I'm a TME and product manager at HP Aruba Networking. And in this video, we are going to look at new user experience insight, Wi-Fi 6E sensor. So talking about sensors, we started our journey with F-series sensors with square shape ones. And uh, it is like AP looking shape. Then we transition into Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, which is a cylindrical shape sensors. And now we have 6 GHz sensors, which can not only monitor 2.4 and 5, but can also monitor 6 GHz, which is our 6C series. So talking about technical specifications of 6 GHz sensors, they come up with two new variants, which is Ethernet one and the cellular ones. We have dual radios installed on them, which can do tri-band coverage, which is 2.45 and 6 GHz. And they can do off-band monitoring as well as enhanced Wi-Fi environment chart or rendering with the new features, which I'm going to cover next. We have a cellular backhaul and power backup with G6EC, which has cellular functionality. And then we have a BLE with Sigby radio added for future use. So with that, let's see what are the technical features on the dashboard for 6 GHz sensor. We have this 6C sensor installed in our branch location and it's testing SJ Office. And as you can see on the right side, we have this Wi Fi metrics populating for the last 30 days. So we have added RSSI along with SNR, which is signal to noise ratio. So with 6 GHz sensor, you can see this new parameter and you can hover over it and you can get not only the RSSI values but the SNR and it can identify the noise floor. Then we have receive bitrate and you can expand it to see the data receive MCS and you can hover over it and you can go back up to last days. We have frame retry rate. But what's new here is if I expand this channel utilization, you would see in BSID traffic. So basically our channel utilization will give you a split into three. In BSSID traffic, which is nothing but a packets received with matching receiver address of BSSID, then other BSSID, which is a packet received which does not match with the BSSID or a receiver address, and then we have a non Wi Fi energy signals basically, which are non 802.11 traffic. So if you see here, we have this spike which is up to like 7% in the channel utilization, and it is giving you a split that one percent is coming from in this side traffic but other base side traffic is actually contributing to four percent and then we have other non 11 traffic of 0.64 percent then we have a bsid chart where you can not only get the base id but if you have ap name then you would see the ap names as well then the bands which is six gigahertz as well as five gigahertz radio so you can hover over it and see it then we have channel client count for that particular sensor so it will basically count the unique mac addresses seen on that by that sensor in that test cycle and then we have a new chart which is qbs's admission capacity so if you have a qs enabled on your aps then we can see the ap reported client counts and ap reported channel utilization so for the same one so let's say in 6 gigahertz, I was getting very low utilization, but in 5 gigahertz, you can see that I was getting this 7% or 7.9%. If I want to see what's the AP reported channel utilization, I can easily come down here and see 15% was there on the AP as well. And you can see the AP association time. Then in network services, you get the same old DSCP response times, DNS lookup times, you can expand it to multiple IPs of DNS if you have one, and then the internal and external charts. One of the key features of 6C sensor is that it not only monitors 6 GHz radio, but it can also monitor 5 GHz as well as 2.4, and all these new metrics are available for 5 GHz as well as 2.4. So yeah, as you can see, this sensor I have is monitoring the 5 gigahertz as well as 2.4 and all these new features and the new metrics are reported on those bands as well so if you even if you don't have 6 gigahertz radio deployed or 6 gigahertz aps no worries you can still monitor and get those parameters on the other two bands as well or the other two radios as well 
Now that we have seen all the Wi-Fi metrics and the newly added charts on the right, let's look at Wi-Fi environment enhancements. With the new 6 sensor, we can not only monitor 2.4 and 5, but you can get this 6 GHz over here. Not just that, now with new sensors and the old ones as well, you can quantify the Wi-Fi environment as per your time range selector over here. So you can select the time range and Wi-Fi environment will get customized according to that time range. So let's see what's going on for last 30 days with this particular sensor. And we can check that it is giving us complete picture of all the SSIDs from that sensor for last 30 days. Now that we have seen all these things, let's split this into a specific SSID. So let's filter for Cape SSID just for our demo purposes. And let's see what's going on with the Cape SSID. So I filtered it for Cape and I can see that it's giving me all the Cape BSSIDs. But what's new here is, if you can see, we already had this four columns, but the new ones are retry rate. So I can now get the retry rate for each, for each BSSID. Uh, the channel usage so i can get the utilization happening on that particular uh, bsid then the traffic split how many percentage of management control versus data frames are there then the number of clients reported on that bsid available admission capacity of that bsid bss color and the timing so all this data is available on just one single dashboard so you no longer used to have or you should have any third party spectrum analyzer or you have to install it and you know run it with your technician. You can get it in, in one stop view. Not just that, we have the help articles for all the six gigahertz features as well as the new enhancements. So you can easily search it in the chatbot and you can ask questions as well. So yeah, that's all about our new six gigahertz sensor. Thank you for watching and I'll see you into the next video.